Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into how a conventional light bulb that produces very low electromagnetic interference fields can actually be turned into a very high electromagnetic interference producing device simply by putting it on a lamp dimmer. Now lamp dimmers do very strange things to light bulbs and we're going to show you exactly what they do. And this subject was actually researched by Dr. John Nash Ott in his book Health and Life. And he noticed that lamp dimmers actually fill homes with radio waves. And we'll look into some other fields in addition to radio waves that lamp dimmers do. To do this, we have a trifield meter. And we're going to start off on the 0 to 100 range. Over here is our light bulb that we're testing. It's a 60 watt filament light bulb. As you can see, there's no fields on the cable right now. But that's going to change when we switch it on. So our light bulb is now on. We're on magnetic, 0 to 100. And we can see that we've got some quite significant fields on this cable. Now, fields over 2 milligauss are actually classed as a cancer risk. So we can see that we've actually got about 9 milligauss on this cable right now. So you wouldn't want this cable draping across your legs or near to you so that you don't get into the fields of this cable. And they extend out a few inches from this particular cable. So let's switch over to the electric field. As you can see, it's very, very high. And it's actually quite an interesting electrical field because it's really big. It extends out a long way from the light bulb and the cable. In fact, we're about 10 feet away from that light bulb right now. And we've actually just stepped out of the field. You go walk forward, we see it creep up again. So it's very high fields around lamp dimmers and the cables and the light bulbs. Let's switch off the switch. Now this is the live side of the cable, so it's going to have a field on it. And this is the dead side, so there's no electrical field. And if we draw back from it, we see that the field drops off uh, within about a foot of the cable. So it's a very different field when the light is not actually switched on. So there's another field around this cable. And we're going to pick it up using the radio. And it's a radio field. It's a wideband radio emission. So, lamp dimmers actually turn cables and light bulbs into radio transmitters. And they can fill your house with radio waves, which may lead to radio wave sickness and electromagnetic hypersensitivity. So, we're going to turn on the radio. You can be tuned in to any band on the AM band. It just has to be very quiet with no radio station. So, we're going to be tuned into static on 530 because that's very quiet at my house. You see, we've got no radio waves either side of the switch. That's going to change when we switch the light bulb on. as we can see, it's a very large radio field around this light bulb. And I'm going to take you for a walk around my house because the house is actually completely filled with radio waves. So let's go and check it out.
So I've just switched off the light bulb and that's uh, refit the board. As you can see, it's very, very quiet. So there's absolutely no doubt that it's coming from the light bulb, the cable, uh, the lamp dimmer, and the home wiring. Uh, it's a feature that Dr. John Ott identified in his book, and he found the same findings as me, which is lamp dimmers fill your house with radio waves. And uh, he didn't have access to a tri-field meter and wasn't able to detect the other fields that were present. So it's quite interesting that there's far more fields than what Dr. John Ott reported in his book. And uh, it's something to be aware of. And if you want to find out more about the subject, Toxic Health extensively talks about it. And I should also mention that using these light bulbs, if you put a higher wattage light bulb in or put more light bulbs on the circuit, the problem gets much worse. And it very much is a load dependent problem and increases with the size of the load. So there you have it. Lamp dimmers do actually cause problems in your home. They put radio waves into your home and magnetic and electric fields. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.